Trash cans without lids are like milk without cereal. It's useless. But who can afford the luxury of being able to afford a trash can lid? Just go to your grandma's bathroom, steal her toilet seat, and then just slap that bad boy on the trash can. Now you can sink those buckets like this guy. Hey fellow gamers, is your wrist getting all cramped up from those epic victory royales? Well grab one of your tube socks and fill it to the brim with Orbeez. Now you're gaming at pro levels. Honestly, with this strategy, you could game in Ninja. Even Tief, eh, Tief is probably too good. Your Fortnite tutor will be proud. Thank you, tutor. Because of you, my dubs doubled. Just take your mind to a different place and imagine if you filled up a socks with Orbeez and then you just did some stuff. With your finger. Y yeah. And you just put your finger in and out really quick. Yeah, I, I, th I think I'll be right back. I got something I gotta go try. <laughs> Chris is obsessed with science. Ooh, gotta have the butter in there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, that was a lot of butter. Ooh, look at all that smoke coming off of it. Mix it up, mix it up. What's that? What is that? That's a thousand, thousand degree, degree ball. ball. What are you not educated by YouTube trends? Oh, look, it's working. Oh, whoa, dude, that would hurt so bad if that hot oil got on you. Yeah. Ooh, look at that grease popping everywhere. I can't believe that thousand degree ball worked. What I just love that? how they put the ball in there and they pulled it out and they waited and then the popcorn popped. Had nothing to do with the fire below it. Definitely not the fire below. It's fault. Oh, dude, that's the best. Dude, the glass cokes. Oh, they taste so good. Look at this guy struggling. All right, first of all, it is not that hard to get open. a bottle opener. But still, it's not that hard. You could just slam it on the counter and it yeah. opens. All right, now that he's finally got it open. All of that work just to make a children's toy. All right, drills a hole. Perfectly centered. That's a long toothpick. I guess this is what you play with when like Fortnite's down, right? Yeah. I'm confused. Okay. Let me see. You could do this or you could go on the internet. I think I'd rather go on the internet. Oh, dude, look okay. how. Wow. That's cool. Look how long it spins. Whoever comes of these are geniuses. Dude, that's spinning for a while. Dude, that's still dude. going. It's better than the dreidels. Dreidel, dreidel. Happy Hanukkah? Happy Hanukkah. Drinking juice tastes great, and it's great for you. But let's be honest, juice isn't the manly thing in the world. So in order to beef up your juice, add some real juice chunks by slamming fruit with a hammer. No, not the Mott's. Mott's is gross. Dude, those glasses are cool. I have those glasses. Ooh. Make it juicier juice, baby. Dude, that fruit looks like it's out of like a commercial. And we got some apples. All right. There you go. Oh. The machete. There's the gold. Oh, kiwi machete. pear. Oh. Dude. Pineapple oh. destruction. SpongeBob's house, man. Dude. Dude why is, nice. Why is it so milky looking? I bet that wouldn't taste the worst. No, I probably wouldn't. Any kind of fruit that's high in like acid, they'll eat right through your marble countertops or your granite countertops. Oh, thanks, Dad. You're very welcome. <laughs> have you ever been in the situation where you really want to scramble eggs but don't have a stove? That's like every Tuesday for me. So I decided to grab my trusty shovel and heat it up to a thousand degrees. Oh yeah. Man, look at the heat like dissipating all over the shovel. Look at all the minerals. Dude, that's actually kind of working a little bit, except for they're oh, stupid and, and angled the shovel. Are you supposed to use your hands? You can, but like like, these guys obviously aren't smart enough to do something like that. Yeah. Like, Where, like where's the salt and pepper? Cheese, Tabasco, and some salt and pepper. I could eat anything off a shovel. The best way to keep your snacks fresh is to vacuum seal them. But who has vacuum sealing kind of money? I love cheese. It's a Mountain Dew. Best snack ever. It's what Americans live off of. I love Nutella. I could never get behind Nutella. It kind of sucks. <laughs> it's like a turd in a bag. To keep both your wallet and your food fresh, grab some Ziploc bags and straws and suck all that pesky air out of the bag. Suck it out of the bag. Suck hard on the back. <laughs> Sure, you'll be breathing in cheese and dust, but you know what they say, high risk, high reward. Yeah, soap is great, but you know what cleans way better than soap? Not Nutella. Believe me, we tried. Chandler, can you throw that? Yeah, definitely. Just skid marks. They used to call me that back in high school. All right, seriously though, what if someone just pooped in a jar and that's Nutella? They just have a factory in China where they just like <laughs> manufacture poop and they just feed people and then put their poop in a jar and sell it. You can't prove it's not that. Now our dishes may have come out covered in chocolate, but they also smell pretty good. So now the hard part is uh, not eating my dishes. Hey look, that's the Condor Go Lock Machete 14 inch blade, 20 and a half overall. Good to see it's still doing what it loves, which is chopping things. Dude, look at that. You hear that? Yeah, that Coke bottle didn't stand a chance, man. Sure didn't. You think that's he's gonna do move. the tomahawk chop? Let's see it. Oh, chop! there's the signature tomahawk move. chop. Let's get a replay. K.O. <laughs> Do a Mortal Kombat KO and he chops it. You can't talk to the editors. You don't have to. I can. Business. I can. Don't do it, editors. Do it. Wow. 
All right, so I'm not sure what we're doing here. Oh, they're making an indent into, okay. oh, wow. Dude, that's so cool. That's pretty cool. cool. Dude, no way. Do you think that's actually edible? I, I think we'll find out. There's no way that's edible. Isn't dry as bad for you? Uh, bad for your skin. Dude, that, that is actually really cool. really cool. I give that hack. I enjoy that. I give that hack a 11 out of 10 uh, with some extra sprinkles. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. He ate it. Dude, that's awesome. Don't you hate when you bring out a drink and everyone wants a sip? That's just gross. In order to satisfy everyone's desire of thirst, in the most efficient and fair way possible, use the patented Drink Utter 4000. New shirt, I see. Oh, he did get a new shirt. Whoa, what is that? That's a soldering iron. I've never seen one of this. Yeah, you use it to solder. So All he's right. got three holes three in the holes, bottom of his cup. A straw. More glue, of course. That is a beautiful machine. How much would you pay for something like this? Probably $4,000. $4,000? Yeah. Dude, it works okay. good, though. It works good. Dude, these are actually good. I like that. You'll distribute fluids fast and fair to all your friends. Call 555-555-5555-5.5.5 to order today. Eating is great, but there's one terrible thing about it. When you want seconds, you have to get up. To make sure I get my recommended 6,000 calories a day without having to get up and walk, I use this Extendo for it. Dude, sometimes it's hard for me to walk just because I eat so much, you know? Yeah. Dude, he's terrible at tearing duct tape. Good yeah, lord. Um, okay. Look at that. Now he never has to get up when he's eating ever again. Why would you slice a banana and leave it over there? Why don't you just bring the whole banana over there? <laughs> Life's not about the questions, man. It's about the answers. And this man found the answers. Extendo fork. America. You know what the worst part about cereal is? What? The milk is cold. Who likes cold milk? I don't know. The only way to warm your milk up is to either microwave it, which takes time, or you just could just breathe a, on it. No, you could <laughs> you could take a thousand degree ball and just drop it in there and then it boils your milk for you. Look at it, it is boiling. Dude, it's literally boiling. You can hear it burning the cereal. <laughs> your dad really likes Cheerios, right? Dude, my dad loves Cheerios. I wonder how he would feel about this. Is, you think this is disrespectful to Cheerios? Yeah, my dad would have a fit. Ice trader gang. <laughs> You know what's really good? What? Not coffee. I hate coffee. I actually don't drink coffee. It's probably one of the grossest things ever, but apparently some people like it. A lot of people. Oh, this mad lad froze wait, wait. coffee. Is it already frozen? Yeah, he snapped his oh, finger. Oh, wow. This is actually not bad. Oh, so that would be really good with some milk. Wait, okay. could I do this with like soda? Yeah, of course. Oh, gross. Oh, what? Oh, now you're just trying to have a heart attack. <laughs> dude, that is so nasty. Big chungus. Big chungus. Oh, dude, I oh, bet yeah. that smells and tastes horrible. Oh, now he's all energized. Only a savage would store their carrot in the fridge on a shelf. A true man of culture like myself uses only the finest carrot holder to store their carrot. Is that a freaking pickle? <laughs> there are pickles Dude, in there, get man. At it. Oh, there's two jars. Dude, that's a lot of pickles. They hate me. Oh, that's good uh, placement right there. That is good placement. I'm more of a right, top right corner kind of guy. Oh, that's beautiful. Imagine all the other stuff you could store in there, like your pickles. Get out. You know what the worst part about being an adult is, Chandler? What's that? I have all these keys that I don't even need, but for some reason, I always have to keep them on me. Yeah, and I always lose them too. Dude, same. So just take a picture frame. It could have a picture of you and your wife. Who needs that, right? Yeah. Just take that picture right out of there and stick some command strips on it. And now you can hang literally anything. anything. You can hang your keys. You can hang a marker. marker. <laughs> nice. Good hack. Dude, look at this background though. I like, like the, the Christmas green edition? and the pink. Dude, it Pink, hold on, are you colorblind? If YouTube Rewind was accurate, it would have had the two most viral things on it. Slime and 1000 degree objects. Let's see if we can get the likes on this video more than the dislikes on YouTube Rewind. Okay. Pink slime, nice. Ooh, dude, it's going Ooh. through there like it's butter. Butter cakes. Ah, oh, dude, listen to the sound. Listen to oh, the sound. Oh, yeah, it sounds... Am oh. Oh, look at all that Is steam. it coming back up? Nah, nah, nah. I think it's went through it. I wonder what that smells like. Oh, oh wow. Dude, it went all the way through Nice. <laughs> oh, look at those holes, man. That's pretty cool. That's beautiful. Three pounds of slime. Smash like. Smash. So I watched this hack, and it's pretty dumb. But if you look into it, it's not a bad idea. We're going to quit the YouTube business, and we're going to go into the smoothie making industry. We're going to be rich, Chandler. Rich? Richer than Nutella. <laughs> Oh. 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 Ew. Nice Yummy. loogie. Oh, that's a that's a nice looking banana. That's like a cartoon that's banana. It's a hefty banana. That looks so weird. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's yeah. pretty funny. Get a little oh, chocolate yeah. in there. Shove it right back in. There it is. 
Dude, Perfect. I might actually try that. That looks so satisfying for some reason. Yeah. Dude, I can't wait. Dude, aren't Orbeez so pretty? Dude, I love Orbeez. Dude, this is actually probably really healthy for you. I yeah. Ah. Uh, they're struggling. Dude, those Orbeez are too much for that blender. The Orbeez are too strong. Oh, gross. Dude, please eat that. They look like mushed up gummy bears. Oh, he doesn't pour it out? Come on, man. Dude. We need the money shot. I ate an Orbeez sandwich. You can't eat an Orbeez smoothie? We've all seen Coke and Mentos before, but this guy decided to ramp things up a notch and add a blender. And let's be honest, if you add a blender to anything, it's gonna take the cool factor up a notch. It's so hard to find Mentos nowadays. Blender. I look at his DIY channels like this. Take them all. Hey, he's... Oh, wow. There's a little disclaimer there. Yeah, look at that. Don't do this. I Let's mean, to way. be fair, you can do it. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> oh, is it a... Oh, no way! Uh, <laughs> I bet that was a pain in the butt to clean up. I wanted to see a crazy spinning Mentos geyser, so I'm a little let down by this hat. However, it looks like the blender has had enough with this can, so he decided to get violent. Someone call the police on that boy. Wee woo, wee woo. What's up? Can police here. Oh, it's right over there, other room. Thanks, man. No problem. If you're like me, you have too many knives and forks to fit in your kitchen drawers. I mean, what am I going to do with them? Throw them away? You throw them away. You do it. Who wrote this script? That was me. You did a bad job. Thanks. <laughs> of that one part. If a pineapple was good enough to house SpongeBob, it's probably, you know, able to pass the humanitarian, you know, checklist to house some spoons and forks. Why did you set me on fire, SpongeBob? Kind of just want to play Fruit Ninja and just slice that in half. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? No, this is Patrick. Oh gosh, that doesn't look safe. Neither does cutting a car in half with a thousand degree sword, but we still did it. We did it good too. So guys, I have a theory. I love Nutella, but eating it is bad for your teeth. So what if instead of eating it, you brush your teeth with it? Because now when you eat it, you instantly brush your teeth so it cleans them. Boom, science. Oh, that's the worst toothpaste in the history of toothpaste. Dude, Colgate's so much better than Aquafresh. I'd rather use Arm & Hammer than Aquafresh. <laughs> but look, look how satisfying that is. Ooh, make sure you get it all out. Yeah, that would be nasty if you had Nutella in your, uh, or toothpaste in your Nutella. Yeah, who wants that? That's Man. a clean tube yeah, right there. nice. The penguin. Penguins are so cute. Penguins are my favorite animals. Aren't they birds? Yeah, animals are still birds, you idiot. Nah, man, birds are scary. <laughs> Shove it in there real nice. Dude, that'd be a good way to, like, oh, gross. Never mind. Uh, I don't think uh, hot glue is good for your mouth, maybe? They should just staple it. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Uh, <laughs> Looks like your poop, Chandler. It does. Today we're gonna recommend a less normy anime for you guys. It's an anime called That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. All right guys, I'm gonna be real with you. I haven't seen this. Chris told me to recommend it. We'll see how it goes. I'll watch it with you guys and maybe not the next episode, but the episode after that, I'll let you guys know if I like it. So I'm gonna want you guys to watch it so you can let me know if you like it. So it's called That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. That's it for the video. We're about to play rock, paper, scissors. Remember, Whenever you click on a Mr. Period Beast video, always watch to the end. Because at the end of every video, we play rock, paper, scissors. People that don't play rock, paper, scissors, their parents don't love them. So, get your get your thing in your hand. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I choose scissors. Oh yeah, I won. All right, for this next one, I choose paper. Whoa. Wow, I can't believe you've done this. All right, we're tied. This one's for the dub. Rock, paper, scissors, Shoot! Well, that was super easy. Subscribe or you're a failure.